Thailand. She longs to attend and meet Prince Vergata, the noble black swan. She was told only he could break the spell. Keeping the family company as she squats away is the dearest friends, the winsome boxing poet, Boxy Lord Foxy. His nose twitching, his boxing gloves ignited by moonlight. He is unbeknownst to his family and underground poet who performs poetry slams in boxing gloves at the gate of an thistle and fall. The bad lad. He has overheard the family's wish to attend the cousin ball and knows it's time to give the family a chance to break the spell. He reaches into his fallen and pulls out the tattoo clutch, the telling tree and shattered tattoo compacts, gleaming with a mac coat of arms. One for her cheeks, one for her eyes, one for lips. Each comes with a wish. Use them wisely. One spare. He finally opens the first compact, touches up the sheets with color and makes the first dish. A gown of tartan. Pan. Scoops water from the river and it becomes a flowing tartan fabric in his hands. He pluck a metal field pin from his ears. Pierces the cave and reveals this is the tartans that can morph into any pattern of silhouette. Just by wishing it. Pan stomps his hoof three times, and a sailing ship drops down from the sky. Hey, hey.